Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for May 28th, 2020. Well, yesterday we had quite a volatile day. We gapped up and then we sold off, and then at the end of the day, the bulls just surged forward in an incredible way, pushing the markets up through resistance levels and really showing that they just want this market to go higher, showing lots of enthusiasm. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's get all snug into our office chair and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, we have futures trying to surge higher yet again. We have a massive day of economic data coming out, big numbers coming out this morning. But right now, it's kind of interesting. The market just doesn't want to hear any bad news. Yesterday, we had a beige book report that was normally, those are very um, benign reports and don't really tell us much. But what was interesting um, in the beige report, yesterday, the Fed is suggesting that there is going to be a little bit more difficulty in getting the country to reopen just because workers are reluctant to go back to work. They are citing things like um, safety issues, um, child care, and the very, very generous um, unemployment numbers um, or unemployment payments that the government are providing just kind of a reluctance to go back to work and business leaders were citing um, really pessimistic views of the recovery but for some reason the market doesn't want to hear anything about that the market just wants to be bullish and so price action continues to lead us higher in the market there doesn't seem to be anything getting in the way now today we have some big numbers on the economic calendar we have durable goods we have gdp and we have jobless claims first thing before the market opens jobless claims are suggesting another two plus million people were added to the unemployment rolls even as the country tries to reopen business so it's going to be interesting to see how the market reacts to that. At this very moment, Dow futures are up 187 points, um, suggesting another big gap up open this morning. So let's take a look at the technicals of the chart. If we take a peek in here, we do have a bullish trend, and there's no doubt about it. The bulls are in control here in this market. We have surged in the last two days more than 1,000 Dow points. So we'll want to consider that because at any point, Point in time we could see profit takers begin to come in just kind of keep that in mind if that were the case we also want to keep in mind that there are tensions growing between us and china um, last night uh, China passed uh, their new security measures against Hong Kong. Hong Kong is calling for sanctions against China. Um, the U.S. House passed a bill um, yesterday sending it on to the president's desk to authorize sanctions against China. And China has um, warned that they will retaliate. What does that mean? I don't know. Right now, the market is ignoring it. It doesn't seem to care. But that is also brewing beneath the surface here um, in, the, um, in the market. So kind of keep a close eye on that. And the reason I'm mentioning this is just to not get... Um, sucked in to, to the point where we, we don't see the possibility of a pullback. At any time, we could see profit takers come in, and with the rapid movements of these markets, we know that, that um, uh, if profit takers do come in, it could really come back the other direction quickly. So kind of keep that in mind. So let's take a look. First off, we had a we have got a great trend here. If I pull this chart back, yesterday I marked on the chart here this resistance level all across through here in the chart and you can see at the close of the day yesterday we actually breached above that and we're gapping higher this morning. If we look at our moving averages, um, everything is looking pretty darn copacetic here overall 
Um, on the daily, we are well above our 50-day moving average, and our 50-day moving average has started to turn up sharply. We have a 500-day moving average above, which looks like we're going to test that today, and the 200-day moving average yet above that that we still need to try and recover. So bulls are in control, and they're continuing to push this morning ahead of a big dump of data. SPY is also very bullish, and we had our first close above our 200 day moving average and breaking through some additional resistance in the chart and we're gapping up again this morning so pretty interesting situation uh, bulls are just relentless it's like there's a ravenous desire to buy risk right now um, and what what happens in the news or whatever just doesn't matter um, or just pushing higher so pretty interesting situation here bulls are in control um, once again breaking that resistance breaking above that 200 day moving average for the first time if we take a look at the cues Q's on the other hand had a little bit more struggle yesterday where they pushed down and then big old hammer pattern here yesterday um, as they recovered at the end of the day big bounce back now one thing we have to take note of here even with that hammer a hammer requires a follow-through and we are seeing a price resistance level in this chart that we've struggled a little bit with um, in the days prior and if we look at the futures on the nasdaq we are at least at this point not showing um, a willingness to really push through the top of that candle we can look to open just a little bit lower here this morning on the nasdaq so kind of keep that in mind that big hammer may not be as bullish as we think it is and remember a hammer requires a follow-through so watch that carefully in case those bears decide to um, attack again on on the Nasdaq let's take a look at IWM IWM had a pushback yesterday and just bulls came in surging like crazy pushing this back up yesterday so now we have our trend um, here in the um, IWM showing lots and lots of strength our 50-day moving average turning up and largely this was due to a big recovery yesterday well in the last couple of days in the financial sector and the retail retail and financials are doing a heck of a job of lifting and that's really helping IWM a lot so here we are we're surging again this morning looking for a gap up open we're getting close to that 200 day moving average in the um, um, IWM index as well let's take a look at the VIX what's going on here in the VIX well the VIX was back and forth yesterday interestingly enough we pretty much didn't didn't um, have um, at the end of the day kind of no movement at all we kind of opened it almost exactly where we closed on the VIX yesterday and although we had a big surge higher and a big surge lower we kind of finished the day flat on the VIX so no real change here um, in that chart we're still holding this price support in the chart fairly substantial support level in here on the chart we're holding above our 200 day moving average in here and as you can see we're holding below our overall downtrend here in uh, the VIX so interesting situation we're waiting to see um, are we going to could we is it possible this could be a hold of a double bottom on the VIX and see a surge possibly could we see those bulls push through hard enough that we finally break down below that 200 a uh, day and break down below that 25 handle possible um, keep an eye on this um, it's gonna be it could be a very volatile uh, next couple of days let's keep a close eye on the VIX here um, in case it starts to surge let's take a look at T2122 and I got to tell you T2122 is giving me some major pause <clears throat> T2122 is 
incredibly elevated, suggesting that um, we have overextended this rally significantly. And we're continuing to extend it this morning. Now remember, T2122 doesn't tell us that the, the moment or the day or anything like that when we're gonna reverse and head back down. It's just telling us that we may have pushed push this rally a little too far, a little too fast, and the snapback on that could be um, could be coming at any time. So kind of keep that in mind. We're pressing up here at these uh, max levels in this chart. As a matter of fact, with the gap up open this morning, we may reach kind of these max levels. I haven't seen that for a long, long time in T2122. So I'm not exactly sure what continues to push us so much what, what's giving everyone the confidence to just continue to shove these stocks higher but watch that closely at any time profit taking could come in now on the good side t2101 continues to surge higher that is a good sign what we have been lacking for a long long time is a broad-based rally and with financials and retails really picking up that has surged the absolute market breadth so um, that is a positive sign for the market but we're also showing this kind of stretching out a little bit we might want to be just watchful and careful not to chase <clears throat> this rally so late in its move and watch for that possibility of some profit taking or pullback that could occur at any time um, and it doesn't have to occur I want to make that very clear it doesn't have to occur we could continue this bullishness through the rest of the week um, but just that we should be watching carefully for that possibility for it to begin. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. And this is what we're going to have to deal with here in a few minutes. <clears throat> this morning as we head in toward that open we're going to deal with durable goods orders gdp numbers and jobless claims um, all of these are not looking very good as you can imagine um, we're looking at negative gdp we're looking at um, durable goods um, orders declining we're looking at jobless claims going higher right now the market doesn't care the market just wants to go up doesn't matter what the economic numbers show us so let's keep an eye on these this morning perhaps perhaps one of these numbers um, triggers either a bullish or bearish um, occurrence in the market lately what's happened well really since we started um, these um, historic jobless numbers markets just use that as a point to rally on we get bigger and bigger jobless uh, numbers and we just rally the market so Possibly we could just push on higher even if these numbers aren't uh, favorable. We also have pending home sales. We have the natural gas report and the more important uh, petroleum status report. We'll want to watch that. Oil sector stocks have been very, very good, holding up very strongly, and that could have an effect on those as well. We have a couple Fed speakers today. As you can see here on the, on the chart, we might want to uh, pay attention to that. And then we've got the Fed balance sheet later on today not likely to move the market around everyone knows the fed balance sheet is just growing exponentially but nobody cares um, as long as they keep pumping money into the market nobody cares <clears throat> so let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up today but before we do that if you guys could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos. If you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon um, when, uh, when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. If you found this video to be helpful, to be useful in how you approach the market for today, please do me a favor and click that um, thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. It helps me out an awful lot and continues to grow the channel. I appreciate that guys so much and your comments are absolutely humbling to me. Thank you so very, very much. Um, you know, the purpose of these videos is not to predict the market direction in any way, shape, or form. It's not to provide hype. There's plenty of hype out there for everyone to fuel up on. Um, 
it is to really to take a look at the technicals of the chart and really be logical based and technical based on how we view the market for today so that we can have a better unemotional look at how we should approach that market for today and hopefully you see that there's some benefit to that and i want to thank you guys so much um so many folks um uh, becoming subscribers um truly truly um humbling thank you very very much so let's take a look at a few of these stocks that could be setting up and there's quite a few in really really good patterns now one thing I want to make note of here before we get started is that there was a pretty big surge yesterday in gold. Gold-related stocks um, surged up, and we had silver um, surging yesterday as well. That may be a little bit of a warning that there could be a little concern that we're stretching this rally a little too far. So keep that in mind. Gold and silver are safety plays. I also saw, um, I also saw surges in um, defensive sector stocks. We had defensive sector like Hershey's um, and other defensive sector. Um, area stocks trying to push higher yesterday, meaning that there may be a little bit of concern. Clorox, um, Colgate Palmolive um, trying to pick up that there may be a little bit of concern that we may have gone just a little bit too far. So just kind of keep that in mind um, with those some of those defensive sectors surging and gold and silver surging. Uh, that might be a little bit of out of, of a clue um, to um, a, a pending or a coming uh, profit taking uh, pullback. So watch that close. Other than that, stocks that are looking fantastic. We had boot yesterday. Here's the alert that I placed on boot, boot alerted, pushing on up, beautiful, beautiful rally chart. Slid over here, consolidated after breaking out, came close to its trend, fired on up yesterday. Popping up into this gap, um, I would suggest that there is still some upside possibility in this chart, but I would not rule out the possibility that this may rest or consolidate a little bit over here toward the trend before it continues. So kind of keep an eye on boot. That PKI, PKI that I mentioned on uh, Tuesday morning, uh, popping through and following on through through to the upside yesterday looking really really good don't chase this guy at this point wait for some kind of a rest or consolidation pullback remember we like to move off of trends so any rest back in here could set up the next opportunity a great one for your list and please guys remember that all of the all of the stocks that I talk about in this video are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security they're just meant as a, something to put on your list something to keep keep an eye on, uh, do the evaluation, do your due diligence to decide whether or not this is something that makes sense for you in your trading. <clears throat> Take a look at CRWD. CRWD had a big selling move yesterday, pulling back hard, and then here we got this nice little hammer pattern in here. We might wanna watch CRWD to see if it can follow through to the upside here, uh, pushing on through and resuming that upside trend. Keep an eye on it. Could go either direction, uh, just something to, to watch closely. Kroger, Kroger had a massive surge yesterday and really powered higher right at the end of the day. So a big, big bullish candle here uh, popping back up. So we've reclaimed this level in here where we've got a little support. And if we pull back or rest in here and hold, creating a higher low, then we have that potential that this could resume its uptrend. And here's something interesting in the chart we could use this bigger trend line as that guide. So as we kind of rest maybe in here, pull back, kind of keep an eye on Kroger, see if it can push on higher. Obviously grocery stores or something we're gonna to continue to, 
to uh, need no matter um, what happens with the coronavirus. So keep an eye on that. That Beyond Meat kind of broke down yesterday. Um, I would watch this one carefully. I've been mentioning this as a, that possible to break higher and it just couldn't get her done. So now this is at risk of potentially a lower high and then a failure. So keep an eye on that. There's no, this is not a short. I want to make that very, very clear. Um, it would not be a short for me until we complete this down move, rally back and put in a lower high. And that actually begins a downtrend if that were to occur. Can't say that that will occur, but keep an eye on that Beyond Meat starting to struggle here just a little bit. Take a look at Dollar General. Oh my goodness, Dollar General, rocket shot. Now, the problem we have with Dollar General is it's going to report earnings today. So just a huge pop here on uh, Dollar General. And this morning, I uh, can't really tell here in the bid ask um, exactly what's happening, but it looks like at least at the moment, it's going to open somewhere right in here about where it closed and um, is likely waiting for that report to occur. So keep an eye on Dollar General. It may surge and certainly one of those stocks that has benefited strongly uh, from um, the virus situation um, that we're dealing with in the country. EVER, EVER started down yesterday morning and completely reversed. Big old bullish candle popping through this resistance, showing strength. Watch this one. This has that possibility of moving on higher here. You might want to keep an eye on that chart. eBay, eBay looking very, very good. Continuing to push higher. And you can see trying to break those all time highs highs here in the chart eBay looking very very strong now this stock I have to uh, let you guys know that I, I, I may be a little bit biased on this I actually own this and I added some to it yesterday Cisco looking very very good yesterday providing that bullish move I still think there's that possibility that Cisco could rest a little bit more in here but kind of keep this one in mind Cisco's starting to perk up after breaking a major downtrend in here looks like we have have that possibility of an upside trend beginning here in Cisco. So keep an eye on that chart. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day in trading. Kind of keep in mind that we have a lot of data coming our way today. We could see some volatility, so plan for that. And just be a little bit cautious and careful as we continue to extend this rally. You don't want to chase too many stocks well into this rally just in case those profit uh, takers start coming in. Everyone, have a profitable day. We'll see you right back here bright and early. Friday morning. Take care now.